Hard to believe it's happened again. An illegal immigrant who could have been stopped before he brutally murdered a promising young student. 15-year-old Danny Countryman was found dead under a blanket on her sister's couch with boot marks across her fake face and neck after a going-away party the night of July 27th. According to court documents, Alex Rivera Gamboa awoke to the sounds of his cousin, Arlano Gamboa, and Danny struggling on the floor. He apparently helped his cousin restrain her by pressing his foot against her neck until she stopped moving. But it could have been avoided. Last year, Gamboa admitted to being in the country illegally after two DUI conv convictions. In fact, they actually signed a court document and checked a box admitting he was not a citizen of the United States. From the district attorney to Gamboa's probation officer, no one alerted immigration officials. Gamboa and his cousin now charged with aggravated murder, attempted rape, and attempted sexual assault. My take. How does this happen? In Newark, New Jersey, an illegal immigrant repeatedly charged with child rape was set free. He then allegedly executed three promising college students. Why isn't there a one strike and you're out rule when an illegal immigrant breaks the law? Joining us now, Jim Redden, a reporter with the Portland Tribune. Laura, Laura Larson, a Portland radio talk show host and criminal defense attorney, uh, Gerald Merritt. Thanks to all of you for coming on the program. Appreciate it. All right, Jim, first lay out the facts for us, all right? Uh, exactly what happened uh, according to the authorities that night? Uh, there was a there's a party at an apartment complex in Milwaukee, Oregon, uh, where Danny Countryman and her sister had gone to visit some friends. It was a going away party for Danny. She was going to be returning to Texas. Um, her sister said that she last saw Danny alive at about five o'clock in the morning, and then discovered her body uh, in an apartment a few hours later. The prosecutors believe that uh, Danny went into the next door apartment. Uh, where she was assaulted and killed uh, by the two cousins who were living there. Um, and that's basically what happened that night. All right. Um, Gerilyn Merritt, let me read you this. This is from the, the Clackamas County probation official who said that their experience is that the immigration officials don't do anything unless it's a felony. And even then, it just depends. They basically told us, if you don't have a felony, don't bother us. Why shouldn't they be bothering them for any crime when it comes to an illegal immigrant? Because not every crime requires deportation, and nor should it. For we shouldn't be looking at. Well, that's right. We should, there is no crime wave among illegal immigrants. Okay. Look at the crime, not the status of the person. This guy was accused and convicted of DUI. That's a misdemeanor. It doesn't require so he still uh, be, automatic he, deportation. Right, he the should, Supreme Court has said wait, so. He, so. He should still be able to remain in the country illegally after two DUIs just because it's not a serious enough crime? No, what I'm saying is if he's here illegally, they have the right to start deportation proceedings and get him out. But he is in custody for a DUI, which is not in itself a deportable offense. We have law enforcement that needs to act as law enforcement, not as immigration officials. That is the federal job. And if there is someone in custody who's under arrest that police feel may be an illegal immigrant, they can call ICE, they can ask ICE to lodge what's right. called a detainer against the person so that when the person makes bond they don't, or when the they person didn't. is that's convicted, the they go to ICE. Yeah, that, that's well, but then that is a problem with this particular no, jurisdiction. But, 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 seeing, but, but that's it is right. not a problem with illegal immigrants no, or undocumented no. residents. And I'm going to ask Lars Larson to focus on that issue, because, Lars, I know that you have a big problem with, the, with immigration in this country in general. But, no. if you can, but if you can focus on this particular issue, because you're a talk show host there in Oregon, I've got to assume there are a lot of very angry people. There are a lot of angry people, and I want to tell you something. I don't have a problem with immigration. I have a problem with illegal aliens, and there's a world of difference. All right, this fine, man but, was but, not but, an let's, immigrant. but let's focus on that. Let's sure. focus on what happened in this case. Right. And, and it sounds like, you know, it sounds like it's, it's, it's a matter of course. Well, here's what it is. Oregon and many states have become sanctuary places for illegal aliens. They are lawbreakers in crossing into our country. They're lawbreakers when they work. They're lawbreakers right. when they so steal Social focus Security on, numbers. Let's focus on committing crimes. You bet. There, there is, yeah. Gerilyn is wrong. There is a crime wave involving illegal aliens. They are estimated to be 3% of Oregon's population, for example, but they're 7% of our state prison population. They are, on some nights, 30% of our jail population, 
in many of the counties, which means that we have a problematic population full of people who have broken the laws uh, of our country and are inclined to break more of them, including, uh, and this happens far too often, young girls become the object of sexual attention from adult illegal aliens to the point where two years ago, the Mexican consul here in Portland said that he was dismayed that so many young men who were dating 14-year-old girls were being described as rapists. Well, they yeah. are rapists. Well, and, and Gerald, look, this is a guy who checked off a box when he was when, when, in his DUI case saying that, I understand I'm not a citizen of the United States. A criminal conviction could cause me to be deported, denied U.S. citizenship, or refused to re-enter the United States. I mean, sh what is wrong with saying that any illegal immigrant who gets convicted of a crime, again, convicted of a crime, immediately that the immigration authorities should find out about it, and immediately that they should be the priority people to get out of the country. Yep. Because the vast number of immigrants in this country are law-abiding and... Who commits are, crime? Are, they focus on the question. Now, if the person commits a crime, there should be a way to take into account that individual's individ circumstances. For example, perhaps it was a minor crime like a DUI. The person has lived here for 30 years, has never had any other trouble with the law, is paying taxes and raising Wait. a family here. Damn. That person may not deserve to be deported. Really? On the other hand, our federal law already provides mandatory right. deportation for Lars, anyone let me give you the what's Carolyn is wrong. Final felon. word on this, Lars. Carolyn is wrong. The average, I'm DUI, not wrong. Hang on. the average DUI has driven drunk 200 to 400 times before they get caught the first time. This guy had been caught twice. He had put people's lives at risk in my country, and he had no right to be here, which is why he should have been booted. Yeah, right. but then target the crime, not his status as an immigrant. I'm targeting the crime an and his status. You can do both. I'm targeting his crime and his status. The bottom line is, if, you you're an illegal, his status. if you're an illegal immigrant and you commit a crime, one strike and you're out. It's not that hard. It seems pretty and straightforward. And it should. It's also wrong. Oh. Okay. All right. Well, take a look at that picture of that girl. Let's put it up one more time. And we can then uh, the cause there. It could have just as easily been an right. American who murdered her. Uh, but it wasn't. It wasn't. So, anyway. All right. Jim Redden, Lars Larson, and as always, Gerilyn Merritt. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it.